my name is uh, Alex Redman. I'm CEO uh, and founder of Redman Racing Boats. Redman Racing Boats takes the spirit of marginal gains that we've seen be so successful in British cycling, where they've won countless uh, gold medals. So why do we do that? We do that to tackle the technology gap between where the industry currently thinks it is and where our proposition says it can be. So ultimately, to really break it down, the proposition is we make the boats go faster. So it's the age-old question within rowing. It's what every coach asks their crew. Uh, Team GB asked it um, uh, pretty much every time when they go to the Olympics. Will it make the boat go faster in anything they do? So that's from a crew point of view. What our proposition is, is to take the best tools and techniques uh, from a, a, a you know, manufacturing and engineering point of view to make the physical boat go faster. So in terms of uh, how we're related to innovation, uh, the proposition uh, wouldn't exist uh, without a philosophy of innovation. So without applying um, innovations to materials, innovations to engineering processes, um, th there's, there's no way that we'd be able to do better than what the competition are already offering. So it's absolutely embedded in what we do. Um, from my point of view, um, I've got sort of a sort of track record of innovation within the automotive industry and certainly from my um, I think my FD's point of view I've challenged him to be you know, particularly innovative in terms of how he's um, doing his fundraising, a hybrid funding model is what we're, we're pitching um, and also from the manufacturing point of view as well we believe there's a lot of low-hanging fruit in terms of improving processes uh, to take unit cost of how these products are made. Without, without innovation, there's no way that um, I would be sitting here today. There's no way that I'd be pitching to uh, the wonderful audience uh, at VentureFest. My proposition throughout my whole career has been uh, innovate or die. And I know that is a bit of a cliche, um, but it's important from a small company, even a startup, to the biggest corporate. Nowadays, because of the pace of technology, if you're not uh, innovating in some way, however you interpret that, you're essentially moving backwards because everyone else is pushing further and further ahead. Um, you know, in terms of sort of top tip, what's quite interesting coming to some of these events is a lot of the, the startup offerings nowadays are digital, you know, software as a service models, you know, highly scalable, uh, promising billion pound markets. I totally understand why you'd want to go for that. But at the same time, if you're pitching the same, you can, you can kind of get lost in that as well. So maybe don't forget some of the other little niches that everyone else is missing. And maybe in older industries, um, that if you really know it inside out, you can be the one to disrupt that field. People should come and talk to me because what we're offering is really cool. Um, as a first point, uh, we are doing some quite clever stuff. Uh, I'm more than happy to open up um, uh, some one-to-one -one discussions and disclose a little bit more about what we're up to and how we're doing it. Um, in terms of you know, what's our ask, um, clearly the obvious one is funding. Uh, so we're asking for 500,000 uh, in 2019, 1.2 million, something like that in about 2020. Um, as I said, via a hybrid uh, funding model. Um, uh, in terms of you know, what kind of uh, stakeholders are we looking for, somebody who is confident um, launching and mentoring uh, startup hardware businesses. It is a different, slightly different skill set to a software business. Um, and also, a couple of years out, we'd be looking for somebody to help us uh, export to Europe and also our key export markets, particularly the United States and some of the sort of Anglosphere countries that are the key rowing markets globally.